I'm Rob from RobNoFoto.com and I'm really excited. I got a box through the post all the way from um, America. Um, yes, Filbert Street in California. <laughs> I think that's what it is. So let's open it up and see what it is. We've got to be very careful actually. Very, very careful. Oh. And not knock the microphone over. <laughs> and this Ooh my friends is um, from Think Tank, Think Tank Photo the uh, retrospective 30 camera bag um, uh, I reached out to um, Think Tank Photo a few uh, a couple of weeks ago actually and said look um, you guys probably get some of the best reviews uh, out there in terms of camera uh, bags and is there any chance uh, you could send me one to review um, and I was particularly interested in the retrospective range because um, they don't look like camera bags and uh, they very kindly got back to me and said yeah sure definitely yeah you know what what, what you know what do you normally do and obviously I do videos and things like that so I said yeah yeah pick one that you think would work for your kit and and uh, we'll send you one so I went on uh, think tank photos web website which is think thinktankphoto.com and had a look through and I was going to pick um, the one down from the retrospective 30 but one of their sales representatives came on the the screen to help out and i explained to him uh what sort of kit i fancied uh, putting in the bag and he said no 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 you want to go for the retrospective 30 it's bigger and you'll be able to fit it all in so um, let's get it out of the bag and, and have a look hopefully what you'll notice straight away is the pine stone cotton finish um oh yes really nice <laughs> instead of being like the black camera bag type you know which screams I'm a camera bag this is like a, a cotton finish um, looks more like a messenger bag than um, than a camera bag and then we open it up here we go <laughs> one lovely thick shoulder bag if this is a messenger type sort of bag that you would carry over your shoulder um, and we've got um, well We've got loads of space in there. Um, yeah, very, very nice indeed. It smells great, actually. It smells like a proper proper bag with the, with the cotton bits on it. Um, gosh, there's loads. What have we got in here? Loads of um, compartments. We've got two really big pockets on the front. Um, I think on the website they say, you know, you oh, there's the uh, rain cap. Um, you could fit like a camera body in each one of these pockets um, and the idea is with these big holes these big holes sorry you can fit uh, a camera with a large lens on a lot you know a large camera so even with a with a battery grip on it with a large lens on with it on actually in the camera bag and there's loads of little slots for for different places um, we've got in the top one of the really clever things about the think tank bags is although you've got velcro What you can do is kind of fold the velcro back so that when you're out and about sort of stalking the streets or you're at a wedding or something like that where you don't want there to be any sound with those little pads over you can put the put the top over your bag and open it and there's no screech of velcro like you normally get so that's really nice and there's also a pocket at the back that you could probably fit, let's have a look. You could definitely fit a large um, tablet in there, probably not a, a, a laptop, but you could definitely fit sort of books and guides and phones and all sorts of bits. And looking around it, you know, there's loads of pockets and, uh, and loads of different things. Now, think tank bags, think tank photo bags aren't that cheap. You know, these are, these are among the higher end types of camera bags. But if you do, if you look up um, think Tank Photo uh, Retrospective 30 Review on the internet I couldn't find a single bad one almost every single review you come across the photographers say 
you know, I, I, I'm a little bit of a um, a gear freak, uh, or sorry, or I'm not into lots of different gear, but what I really like is different bags. And I must admit, I've got a few different bags. I've got like shoulder bags, I've got two different backpacks, I've got like a top loader. And until I got um, the retrospective 30, so this is what other people say, you know, this is the bag I've kind of stopped on, and this is the one I use an awful lot because I can fit all the gear I need into it for, you know, quite involved photo shoots and I'm going away on holiday and stuff like that. And it's nice and comfortable and it wears. I mean, they come with a lifetime warranty, the lifetime, you know, for as long as you have had the bag. And um, everybody sort of shouts about how good the build quality is. So I'm really looking forward to over the next few days loading all my camera gear into it and taking it out onto photo walks to really put it through its paces. Is it more comfortable? One of the reasons why I went for the bigger camera bag, uh, the retrospective 30 sort of size, rather than the uh, low pro photo runner, which you've probably seen lots of times on my views, is that the photo runner had run out of space. It's a great bag, great shoulder bag, nice and small, but it could only really fit the 600D with the kit lens, the kit small zoom on, um, the big 70 to uh, 300 zoom in it, and then some accessories in the pocket. I couldn't fit any more flashes, I couldn't fit a prime lens in there. Um, you know, and I really needed something bigger. Um, and I think uh, this is definitely gonna be the case. And again, you know, it doesn't look like a camera bag, does it? it just looks like a really nice messenger bag, which I think is, is really important these days. But if you say, um, I was going around a photo walk in an urban location, or it can happen in the countryside too. You, you've got one of these on, people don't immediately think that there's thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars worth of camera kit in there. So there we go, that's my unboxing of my brand new Think Tank Photo Retrospective 30 uh, shoulder camera, uh, messenger style camera bag. I cannot wait to take this out and uh, see how it can I don't like to use the term improve my photography, but if you can stay out for longer because you've got the kit with you that you need and you're not aching because of a camera bag that's digging into your shoulder, you know, you take better photographs, don't you? So there we go. Um, my name's Rob from RobNoPhoto.com. Please put your comments down below if you've got thoughts on different camera bags. Please subscribe. If you like the videos, obviously like them. Um, you can always email me, scalespeed.gmail.com. And hopefully I'll see you again soon.